Welcome again. This topic deals with important aspect of risk culture and communication. In this topic, we will discuss about what is risk culture, what is the relationship between risk culture and risk appetite, what are the benefits of open communication, and what are the consequences of poor communication. What is the risk culture? Organization takes action on the basis of their attitude, belief, and knowledge. These elements are subjective and depends on organization to organization. Given the same situation, some organization may like to bravely embrace the risk or may cautiously avoid the risk. This constitute a risk culture. Let us understand what is the relationship between risk culture and risk appetite. Risk appetite of the organization depends on the culture and predisposition towards risk taking. An organization who likes to take risk have high risk appetite, whereas a risk averse organization have comparatively low risk appetite. Risk taker are always ready for new ventures, whereas risk averse organization have conservative approach. What are the benefits of open communication? Main benefit of risk cover culture is timely and accurate escalation of suspicious activity. It also helps in greater awareness among all the stakeholders. It provides transparency to external stakeholders. External stakeholders may include regulators, shareholders, suppliers, and others. So, three important benefit, timely and accurate escalation of suspicious activity, greater awareness among all the stakeholders, and transparency to external stakeholders. Let us discuss about symptoms of problematic risk cultures. Employees always blame each other for the problems rather than identifying the root causes. Their business processes are unstructured. And there is no risk management processes across the organization. What are the consequences of poor communication? Main consequences is acceptance of risk that exceeds the organization's risk appetite. And this is the major cause of organization's collapse. Now we will discuss some key aspects from C-Risk exam perspective. What is the greatest benefit of a risk aware culture? We already discussed this. Suspicious activities are reported at the earliest. And this helps in informed decision making by the management. Timely availability of information helps in informed decision making. Most important factor to be considered while selecting a risk management methodology. Our answer should be risk culture. 
this culture drives the action of the management and their willingness to take the risk other important concept risk appetite of the organization depends on same answer risk culture it is a risk culture that drives the action of the management and their willingness to take the risk let us practice some questions which of the following is the main advantage of a risk aware culture suspicious activity is escalated immediately by the staff and hence management can take the timely and informed decisions other options are secondary benefits while selecting a risk management methodology which of the following is most important factor this we already discussed risk culture other options are secondary factors for considering risk appetite which of the following factor is most important please remember risk appetite means willingness to take the risk correct answer will be risk culture and predisposition towards risk taking of the enterprise others are secondary factors Thanks for watching